Hi everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. Hope everybody's alright today. Today I'll be trying this Hot Pocket Philly Steak and Cheese. We love Philly Steaks. So I saw this at Dollar Tree. That's where I got this. And thought I'd try it. It says Philly Steak and Cheese with Beef Steak, Mozzarella, Peppers, Onions and Sauce and a Crispy Crust. So, oh, I'll show you what we're having tonight. I got this at Aldi, and um, I didn't, I couldn't think of, I was trying to think of something to use with smoked sausage, and I remember I had this in the uh, cabinet, jambalaya mix, earthly grains from Aldi, and it says you can use beef, chicken, ham, smoked sausage, or shrimp. I got that that uh, butterball turkey smoked sausage, so I thought I would use that. I'll add some. I'm sure uh, it has some things in it, but I'll probably add a uh, green pepper and some onion to it. I'll probably saute them and then add it to it. So that'll be good tonight. Okay, let's look at the nutrition facts on this hot pocket here. If you eat the whole thing, uh, it's 270 calories. Um, total fat 10 grams is 13%. Saturated fat 5 grams is 25%. No trans fat. Cholesterol is 25 milligrams is 8%. Uh, 590 milligrams of sodium is 26%. That's not like everything. Uh, 36 grams of carbs is 13%. One gram of fiber is 3%. Total sugar is 3 grams and 2 grams of added sugar is 4%. 8 grams of protein is 14%. It's got 10% of calcium, 10% of iron, and 2% of potassium. So, let's see. It says you can microwave it. It's frozen for two minutes. If it's a if it's a 700 watt oven or 1100 watt ovens, one minute 45 seconds. Then it says you can fix it in the oven. Place on foil or baking sheet in the oven and bake for 24 minutes at 350 degrees. I'm already late for lunch, so I'll probably just microwave this. So did you know Hot Pockets are made by Nestle? I didn't know that. I've never, I've never, I've never read it, I guess, on the back. And Nestle is based in Switzerland. So, um, you know, it's got a lot of ingredients. I'll show you the ingredients. It tells you it's pretty processed. Look at that. Why do you need that many ingredients? You know, wow, that's that's really a lot. It would take me a couple minutes to to read all this. So it's not something that I would have very often myself. Uh, I think they could make it a little less ingredients. So anyway. It says it's made with 100% real cheese, though. Um, okay. It says a fourth of a pound. So I'm going to warm this up in the microwave. And we'll give it a try. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got it here. I cut it in half. And I'm splitting it with joy. But here's what it looks like on the inside. They're really... It's got hole on the end of it really not a whole lot in there <laughs> to be honest with you just doesn't look like much of anything in there I see one two pieces of meat a little cheese so it's pretty skimpy if you ask me on the inside I wonder what this one's like well, this one I can't I can't, I don't want to mess up Joyce half. 
So anyway, let's give it a try. Didn't it say it had peppers and onions? What I do with the paper? Hold on. Beef steak, mozzarella, peppers, and onions. I'm not seeing any, really. I don't see anything. Well, I think they're putting less in the hot pockets. Because I've had other ones in it's been a while, but they had a lot of stuff in them compared to this. I really think that they've cut back on what's what they're putting inside of it. Hot. There I see one, I guess that's a pepper, a little green thing. I guess that's pepper. It doesn't taste bad, but there's just not much in it. It really isn't. Hot. I mean, what's in it tastes good, but look, I mean, there's just nothing. Just like everything else. They're putting less in it, making it smaller, this or that. Just go up on the price and leave the product alone, you know? I know I'm saying that a lot, but it's happening every time I turn around and try something, or either something I haven't tried in a long time, or it's not like it used to be. Nothing is, really. I mean, there's just not, not that much there to even taste. One piece of meat. There's another little piece. We've had one piece of meat so far about like that. And there's one little piece back in here. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but there's not that much to taste. I'm disappointed. I really am. Because I'm pretty sure I've had this one probably a year or so ago. And if I remember correctly, it had a lot more than this in it. Really. It doesn't even really seem as long. Uh, it was this long. You know, twice this. I'm just... No. No. I, uh... You know... Hold on just a minute. I most likely won't be getting this again. There's just not that much. For $1.25, it just, it just doesn't really impress me a whole lot. Um, I've got some Hot Pockets that are bigger. We had some pepperoni ones, and they had more stuff in them. Of course they were more expensive but still i'd rather i would i wouldn't mind paying more for something that's better you know uh, 
the nutrition facts weren't horrible, that's probably because they didn't put that much in it. Saturated fat was 25%. That's not great. But I, I you know I can't honestly give this a high score. Um, because it tastes it tastes okay, but like I said, there's just not that much to taste. Um so, you know, like I said, I'm always honest, you know, uh, if y'all would like to try it, see what you think about it, let me know if you do. Um, like I said, I got this at Dollar Tree, they had some other ones in there, I'm wondering if they're all like that. It makes me think I might need to try some of the others, maybe, just to see if they're um, as skimpy as this one. Um, so I, you know, uh, taste is okay. Uh, it would be a lot better if it had more meat in it and stuff, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to give it a three, a three out of five. Uh, uh, if you'd like to try it, go, go, go ahead and you can get you one at uh, Dollar Tree. I mean, I'm sure they probably have them at the other grocery stores too, but they're probably in like a multi-pack, you know, probably have to buy four or something like that in a pack. But, um. I, you know, I can't honestly give it any more than that because I'm not impressed. I, I was not impressed with it. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's taste test with Mike. I'm always here to, to give you the my honest opinion about everything. And it might save you some money uh, if you decide not to buy something. And, uh, you know, I'll also steer you towards the good ones things that I try, you know, that you might want to buy for sure. So everybody, uh, see what you think. If, you know, if, if you, uh, if, like I said, if you try one, let me know and see if, if yours was like the one I just showed you. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's taste test with Mike. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll see you later on. God bless.